Hi friends, welcome to this new video. This is your learning channel, a channel created for sharing information. You're watching this video because you're tired of seeing the image on your computer. The delay, the turning on and off of your computer and when you cannot control the updates that are automatically downloaded, your computer becomes slow and so does your internet browsing and that's why many people go to the technical service. In this video, I will show you with simple steps the way to disable the Windows updates permanently. So, we need to start this process right in here, services. We click here and we'll check that Windows updates are, are always activated. Windows update, we look for Windows update double click here in my case I have disable this option but in your case you will have in menu for example you need to click here disable you can um, click in apply and insert but it doesn't work because Windows update will activate these updates again in the future without your control that's why we need to do something better so what we need to do is to try to record this name W U A U S E R. Why? Because we'll tap here the word Rekli and we click here. You have this menu in this way. Key local machine. You need to display this menu and look for the folder system. Display this menu and look for the folder current control set you display this menu and look for the folder services and display this menu and you will look for this folder w u a u s e r okay so you will look for this folder and there are w and this is the folder first you need to click here okay after that right click and you will click in the export option export export uh, we are creating a backup of this folder because maybe in the future uh, we'll need to activate these updates again so we will save this folder uh, for example in my case I'm saving this folder in the stock we type the same name W U R S E R and save uh, because I did this process uh, before but you are doing this process the first time you yes after this you can right click here and remove this folder yes doing this you will not have this problem in the future okay this problem is solved but we need to disable another service and the name of this service is the next USOSVC this is the service of the orchestrator service uh, if you look for the folder update orchestrator service and you don't find it, don't worry. You can find, find the service here in this menu. So right click, export, we do the same, uh, the same name. I will, uh, I'm saving this folder in my desktop, save. Uh, yes and after that right, right uh, click and remove okay doing this the problem is solved as I told you before okay after to uh, remove this um, folders I will show you that it works what time here services you click here 
this menu opens again and I look for the Windows Update option and uh, pay attention here. Double click and it says that the system cannot find the file. Okay, that means that you don't have this problem anymore. But um, if you need, for example, activate this updates in the future for any reason that I don't know because I did I did this process a long time ago and I have now had to activate the service again. Okay, but if you need to activate those services again, that's what you need to do. Let me open this. Okay. This is the full this is the file that we created the backup uh, why what you need to do is something simple Click here uh, right click and combine yes uh, yes in this way the service is activated again the same thing you can do with this file right click combine yes yes and the service is activated again okay we're gonna check that the services are activated again are able again and we type here services click here and again we look for the um, windows update service Double click and you can see that the service is activated. W U A U user is activated again. Okay, my friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video. Thank you so much.